So today I'm in a park here in Grants Pass and I'm testing out this unusual antenna that a friend recommended to me. It's, uh, I'm not sure the manufacturer's name, but the model number is TA451B as in Bravo. Anyway, as you can see, this is quite an unusual looking antenna here. And I've modified it to do a few experiments because I was looking this thing over and I thought, you know, it's got such a huge front end on it. Is it really necessary to have that? And how much signal difference does it make to remove the front end? So what I did was I modified this antenna so I can take it apart. I also modified the elements here so I can slide them in and out to change the resonant uh, frequency of this antenna. And uh, I'm not going to do the resonant uh, experiment in this video, but I'll do it in another one. Anyway, what I am going to do though is take apart the front, take this unit off here. In fact, this is the only part of the antenna that actually has an electrical connection going to it. The rest is just a reflector, and I guess you'd call this a director. I'm not exactly sure what you'd call it, but I'm just assuming that would be a name since the beam antenna uses that term. Anyways, you can see there's the, the whole of the uh, antenna that has the electrical connection on it. So what I did was I took different signal meter readings at various states of disassembly just to see how much difference it made. Like, for example, when I pulled off the front here, where we just had the reflector and this, this little jobby right here. Um, well, here, I'll go ahead and show you the, the actual readings I got on my meter. So if you analyze my signal results, this is kind of interesting. This column here are the signals strength that I received with the antenna completely assembled. This next column here is when I removed the front of the antenna, that funny looking thing here, and uh, I left the reflectors and I left the, uh, the part where you hook your coax to, of course. You can see there isn't a whole lot of difference there without that front. Now I'm not going to say that in another neighborhood that I might not see slightly better results but um, it didn't make much difference in that park setting there. Now this column here is just this antenna alone. That's not having reflector and not having a front end. And as you can see, still not all that bad, very watchable in this neighborhood. Now the last column here you're looking at is just this unit here and the front with no reflectors. Again, you can see that a uh, little bit of difference, but not a whole lot. Anyway, for what it's worth, I thought you'd find that thought-provoking. I do it making different types of antennas, and I've been making them for many years now for ham radio, CB radio, and uh, television as well. It's always interesting to see what you get when you try different configurations. As always, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe.